Good morning again, my little beautiful. So three, two, one, beam me up, Scotty. There we go. Right, so anyway, so let me just take off from where we left off. So, yes, so I had that in 2012, right? So, and what happened was, right, so this was a little bit because, of course, I got out of the car totally unscathed. So did my beautiful and delicious, God love her, my beautiful little daughters, right? So I was meant to take them to school anyway. As it turned out, it flipping never went that way, did it, right? But anyway, and of course, you know, I mean, I am a very calm woman, usually, right? But I didn't flipping feel calm that flipping morning, you know what I mean? And I could have took the flipping head off that flipping other woman, right? Because, I mean, it took her six houses down the road for her car to stop. Do you see what I mean? Now, like I said, the car I was in was spin, 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 right? And something told me, because I watched a film years before, and I, I remember watching that you do not put your hand on the steering wheel, you do not put your hands on there, so you just just let it just do what it's got to do, and that's what I did, it's like, bing, it just came into my mind just to do that, you know, well, of course, you know, I've got my beautiful daughters, God love them, you know, there's, well, obviously, they were crying and very upset, do you understand what I mean, they're only very little then, do you understand what I mean, and of course, there's me, just thinking, oh, flip me, you know, I'm not ready to go yet, we're not ready to go anywhere yet, do you see what I mean, but when the car parked itself, flipping immaculately, right, I tell you what, you couldn't even do that on your flipping driving test or anything, you know. Do you understand what I mean? How perfect it was flipping parked. And of course, when we spoke to the old Bill, you know, the police, you know, and flipping the fire brigade, like I said on my previous video, you know, they, they never believed me, you know. They said, well, somebody must have parked the car like this. You must have. I said, I'm telling you, I swear to dear God, Jesus Christ, Nazareth, I did not. I said, this is what it did. And I truly believe, you know, and I swear to dear God, Jesus Christ and Nazareth, our dear high creator, right? And dear angels, I'm telling you that the angels did that, right? Now, I decided to go and do some research, right? Because my beautiful little daughters, you know, because obviously they're at home and everything. I thought, well, I'm going to do a bit of research on this just to see whether, you know, because I didn't want to think I was going you know, cuckoo, do you understand what I mean? Because I wasn't, but I just wanted to make sure. And as it turned out, and I cannot remember now because I've never been able to find that site since, but I went on and uh, yes, there were others, not a lot, but they were saying that they experienced the same thing. So I knew that it wasn't me who was going for pink crackers or do lally. Do you understand what I mean? I just knew what I knew. So what I'm saying is, our beautiful, oh God, we love them, our beautiful and delicious little angels were with me, do you see what I mean, and my daughters at that time, as if to say, you're not meant to go anywhere, you're not meant to, this is not meant to happen, do you see what I'm saying, and I'm a firm believer in all of this, do you see what I'm saying to you, so that's what I wanted to share with you there, now then, so... That's our beautiful little Dolores Cannon, right? And, and and please, like I say, you may not even be interested, but she is on YouTube and she's absolutely a beautiful lady, you know, when she was alive. And she talks about lots of different things, so she's very interesting, right? Now then, this Jeff Taylor who I was talking about in part one, which I never put part one, obviously, I should have done, but he was talking about... Now, I said... Uh, when we did the, um, you know, the Brexit in the UK. And I said, I said, I'll tell you what, so I said, they're going to make us flipping pay for everything they are. Do you understand what I mean? It's like they wanted to make us pay, right? So this Jeff Taylor, he happened to be talking about, do you see what I mean? And it's, it tied in with what I was saying years back. Do you see? And anyway, he's very interesting. So, you know, so if you have a little look at him as well, do you know what I mean? It's just, just all these little things. Now, Paul Hardcastle and, you know, the film, sorry, the, 
rewind and start again. The song 19. You know what I mean? You know, you've got to look at everything what's been going on with the wars. Do you see what I mean? We see my shoulders going up with everything. Do, do you see what I'm saying to you? Now, the one good thing is that there's many, many, many more man and woman who are waking up to this shite, what's going on. And again, you know, you've got uh, soldiers and everything who are passing away unnecessarily. Do you understand what I mean? All to line the pockets of the flipping putrid because they do not care, you know, who lives and who passes. Well, it's disgusting, absolutely disgusting. It is. And I'm disgusted by the whole lot. They are somebody's sons, daughters, and I've got two daughters, two bands of my own. Do you know what I mean? And of course they go out and they feel that they're doing, you know, to help the world. So sad, you know, it's just so upsetting. And anyway, I just want to mention the name Paul now then. I personally have never been out with anyone with a name called Paul, but I've known many Pauls over the years, right? And I do not know what it is about certain names, you know, over the years. But any Paul who I've ever known has either been a cheater. So I'm not here to offend or upset anybody who's called Paul, okay? And if I am upsetting or offending you, well, you must have done something wrong, right? Because any Paul who I've ever met and who and my mates have gone out years ago, anything like that, I'm telling you now, they either cheat or they lie or they do something. And I'm ever so sorry, but it's just came into so just came into my mind. I do not ever feel I've, I've ever met a Paul who doesn't flirt or doesn't tell lies or doesn't cheat. I haven't. They, they seem to be very much a player, so. So I'm not saying it to be nasty. It's like if you look at the name Jason. Well, of course, I've never been out with Jason either. What I'm saying to you is, is it any Jason who I've ever met? And I'm not talking about all Jasons, like I'm not talking about all Pauls. I'm only talking about who I have met, you know, in, in my years, years ago, right? It's like they're very much, um, some of them, not all of them. It's like they're a ticking, I don't mean this in a nasty way, but it's like they're a ticking time bomb, they're very up and down, do you understand what I mean? I'm not saying about all Jasons or all Pauls, I'm just talking about the ones who I met years ago, right? So the certain names with certain, so that's why I say, I do not believe that anybody just gets a name for, there's a reason for everything, do you understand what I mean? It's like, I do not believe that anything is just coincidence. I believe that there's, do you understand what I mean? Like, nothing happens just by coincidence. Things happen for a reason. Do you see what I'm saying to you anyway? So like, that's what I wanted to mention there. And when we go to, um, you know, is this Australian man the real king? Well, again, I looked at this years ago, okay? But what I'm wanting you to do out there, if you wish to take a look, at least have a look on YouTube, what, what I said, you know, just so that you can, it's just to open your mind more now than I'm just going to uh, stop the video and restart it, okay? So much love, my little babies. Thank you, God bless. See you in a minute. Thank you.